I've been on this manifold pretty much all day and it's starting to get dark but thankfully we've got the bloody thing removed and uh, let's just uh, so we've got two um, two completely sheared studs they the, the nuts and yeah, the stud and the bolts and the, the, the stud and the nut I beg your pardon they're completely rusted together so we've lost two and uh, this is the <laughs> No wonder the car has been loud, you know, it's, um, the, the manifold was completely, it's just the end was snapped off and it's been like that, it was like that when I bought it, I don't know how long it's been like it, and, but uh, let's just put that out of the way, but uh, we have a, a good, a good used part, there's no sort of cracks, and um, so what I want to do, put, I'm, I'm, I'm going to just clean it up a little bit, it is, it's filthy as you'd imagine, it's, it's a used part, but there's no cracks. So I'm going to give this a really good sanding. I've got some high temperature silver paint, so I'm going to paint it to make it look nice. But I need to make sure that this face is completely, you know, I've got a, a body file here. And it's quite sharp, so I'll do the first, I'll do the first cut. What I'll probably do, if I'm honest with you, um, I just want to sort of give you a sense of what's involved in cleaning it up. Um, I've got some I've got some long strips of paper so I'll lay that down on wood um, it's, it's, it's um, actually I haven't got it to hand if I lay that down on a flat block and then what I'll do I will I'll, I will slide the manifold you know, slide it and slide it it's this one's very sharp the other paper's slightly finer I want to get a really good flat and clean it's just it's ever so heavy to hold so um, let me just rest that down there see is, is it seen on the camera just about and um, just to give you a sense, this is... But I could be at this, you know, cleaning this up for a good hour, I'd imagine. But like I said, this is a body file, it, it, you know, it's very flat. And... Um... Oh dear, what a job. So I'll keep standing at that until it comes up completely the whole lot will be completely shiny i won't leave any pitting you know there's quite a lot of pitting there do you know actually this might this one might prove to be enough um it, it is sharp but we are it is cast iron so um if i just try to just try to mount this it'll almost definitely leak it's it is quite pitted now i'm going to do it by hand i'm not going to do it with a machine You get a sense. See, it's starting to come good. Um, all these dark areas, rusted, they're low spots. It's actually quite low. So, I'll, you know, what I have to do, I keep rubbing, I'll have to cut away some of the shiny areas and, and just dig that down till we expose good. It might take me an hour of filing, you know, but I am going to do it. I'm going to get a perfectly shiny, smooth surface. And uh, let's have a look. I might come up with a wire brush. I've not even tried to clean this yet. Let's have a look. We we'll just give it a. I need to get all the loose. Absolutely showering the car and all this shit. Bloody hell! Not the best idea. This is it. But what I'll do, I'll just give it the best. That's not bad actually. Just a quick rub, and it gets the worst of it off. But I'll probably spend about an hour and get this completely clean of any old dust and rust. And I'm going to do it away from the car. Look what I've done. <laughs> I just wanted to, uh, I'm working in the street, I'm on the road, I don't want to get myself run over. Whilst I'm next to the car, I'm less likely to get run over. But it's a city centre sort of street. We're, you know, we're not out in the suburb, this is pretty much the city. So uh, I'll, I'll spend about an hour, really clean that up. Go, you know, I'm, I'm, I might actually, I might use a rotary drill sanding wire brush type thing on the outer edge, but I'll definitely do the inner area. I'll do that in completely by hand. Then I'll use a finer paper. Um, I'll probably finish that on, uh, I don't know, what should we say? Uh, at least 180 grit, because I think that white stuff I've been using is 80 grit, at least 180, probably 240, to get, it, get a really good flat finish. Because as you can see, that's not flat. <laughs> I've, I've, the, 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 the bar that I've rubbed it with, the, the body file, is very flat. So we can see where the high spots are. The high spots are shiny, the low spots are still still rusty. So I need to keep going until that's completely, 
you know, it could be machines, but I haven't got access to machines. And now that the car's off the road, I can't, I don't fancy walking somewhere or cycling somewhere with this bloody thing. But we'll get there. I'll clean it up. Uh, come on. Let's take my glove off to pause the camera.